is everybody doing today? Uh, it's been a while since my uh, theater project update. Uh, because of my carpet issues, uh, I just shut it down for a while. And uh, But we're making some progress and everything's going to go really fast from now on. So here, uh, my carpenter buddy Chris made a sweet rack here. Um, which I now have to paint. Uh, there's side panels and doors and all kinds of stuff for it as well that I have to paint. So I'm going to prime it today with this uh, Kills 2. If I got enough in there, hopefully I got enough in there. I got to prime it and sand it, but uh, it's kind of like a skeletonized frame because there's going to be doors. Uh, we cut the sides out and then there's a uh, a trim piece that looks like one of the doors for the sides too but it's just going to be mesh so it can breathe because this is a floating rack that's mounted to the wall uh, so you can't get behind it and then there'll be doors on the front so there won't be really much in the way of cooling so now granted it is very spacious and there's a lot of area for the components to vent out because it's 80 inches long and 24 deep so there's room in there room for whatever you know I might have in the future uh, but we put a hole in the top here so that since this will be a closed cabinet or a closed uh, yeah whatever closed area some of the heat can vent out into the center channel area because the center will be open and then heat can escape out the front uh, there's a top for it of course it's right over there I have to sand that because it's got that sheen on it i gotta scuff it up with this guy so the primer will stick uh so yeah this is the center channel area so this is going to be all black it's going to be black like the front wall um in here is the power conditioner and we have holes in the back on both sides so the power cords can go to the components uh the center channel the cables running through the wall behind the rack uh, and this side, this is going to be the AV receiver and amplifier, four channel amp for the height channels. And um, we put a couple big holes. There's a wide angle lens, so they're a lot bigger than, than they probably look in this uh, video. But uh, we put some holes right under the vents, the bottom vents of the AV receiver, so that it can pull in some fresh air from below the rack because there's nothing going to be below here and uh, with convection currents allow some of the heat to escape and again we we're going to do a uh, mesh or some fabric like speaker grill fabric on the side panels um, these uh, these go in here like this so it'll be all trimmed out like it's a just like it's a door on the front. And the front door's over here. But, uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. Uh, now, progress in the theater. Uh, the pocket door is hung. Got that all painted up and uh, hung. We still need to do the hardware for uh, closure. So you got something to pull. It is a very heavy door, so if you're in here and it's closed, it's actually kind of hard to get open. Uh, the tile floor, we pulled this up and um, it's incredible how easy it came up actually. It just popped up. You had the whole floor done in probably 10 minutes. Uh, they barely chipped, they just, just a putty knife underneath and they popped up all over the place. So Now there's some glue here. I vacuumed it. Um, of course it's not black mastic either. so. It's not likely asbestos glue uh, that Home Depot was so paranoid about. Uh, we hung the TV. So this is the 85. Uh, it's actually, I think it's really the perfect size for this room and that wall. Uh, I've already watched a few shows because got Netflix down here now. <laughs> so the TV works. Uh, it's just the TV speakers though and the room acoustics aren't great, you know, until... Uh, carpet and sound treatment but um, it seems like the perfect size screen 
for this wall. Uh, you can see you can't go much bigger. I, I might, like, in the future, if I do a projector down the road, I might be able to fit a 100-inch screen. But uh, this this seems just great. It's really bright too, so we've got it on a cinema dark mode uh, because it's a light controlled room, and with the lights off, you don't want to burn your retinas out, you know. So I can get good black levels out of a somewhat reasonably priced TV, let's say. Uh, we did hang the rack on the wall, so those are some cleats, those wood cleats there that hold the rack, and then uh, it gets screwed to five studs. Still have to do some terminations. There's cat five that's got to get terminated and uh, uh, coax for the subwoofer outputs out of the receiver uh, and I got to get the face plates on. I need that compression tool so I can finish them. But uh, I know they want you to they want you to do an acid etch on the floor and use some kind of uh, adhesive remover and all this stuff. I'm going to be painting uh, this stuff. Bare concrete and garage epoxy coating. And I'm just vacuuming it really good. This is all going to be under the carpet, so it really doesn't matter so much if it peels. But there is a smell to this, uh, to the glue on the floor. And I just kind of want to seal that in before we carpet. Uh, uh, can't, we canceled the order at Home Depot for the carpet as well because they just kept, I said, I said the tile's up. They're like, we need photos and we need a receipt from the professional company who removed it. And uh, the glue has to be gone and all this stuff. So the, they were just basically didn't want to do carpet in my room. Uh, so I went to another place. They absolutely don't care at all. They just said, uh, is the adhesive black? No. Was it nine inch tile? No. Well, it's probably not asbestos. So they, they don't care. They're going to do uh, glue down tack strips here anyway. So, so I don't put nails into the concrete and risk any kind of moisture issue. Uh, we also went with the beefiest uh, padding they make. So it's moisture coated, moisture barrier coated on both sides. And um, it's the most expensive stuff they had, but it's super thick and it's going to be real comfy. We're just going to have no shoes in this room because <laughs> uh, it's going to be so nice. So also the carpet is slightly more than the other stuff, but um, that I picked at Home Depot, but it should be good. It, it'll be the nicest, uh, Nicest room in the house, so it'll also have the nicest carpet, let's say. Getting down to the uh, nitty-gritty here. So they say they can install in a couple weeks. So we'll see. Once carpet gets on, that rack's painted and mounted, it's all just installing hardware. Uh, the chairs have come in. Uh, they're not here. That's not one of them, obviously. Uh, but the chairs are going to be here this week. And uh, if I can find a spot to set them in the meantime, so I'm going to try to have my painting done uh, and yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, the speakers I found, the speakers I was using for the rears, which are a bookshelf, uh, on the back of them, that is not a threaded insert like I thought. It's some kind of micro port. So I actually have to figure out a new solution for the rears. I got the Totemkin monitors because um, they sounded good. I thought they would be great for a surround, but they don't really have a way to mount them. So I think I'm going to have to get some Kin flexes on order and use those instead. So I was trying to save a bit of cost there because I knew those the Kin monitors would have been fine. Flexes are more expensive, but looks like I'm going to have to go with those anyway. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will have more content for you very soon. Have a good one.